Salutations everyone, I am OG as many of you know and today we are back with Terraria PlayStation 4 Edition and well in the previous part, I don't quite remember what we were doing but we're killing walking goldfish once more since it is raining and surprisingly it is night time but we're not seeing any type of mobs coming trying to destroy our face which I'm okay with but what we do need to do is work on some of our housing and make sure we get the bombsman in I do believe he, he he's gonna sell us bombs and stuff like that so we need wood do we have any wood yes we do why are we not already doing this we're gonna get another NPC as soon as possible and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and create a table and a chair because all you really need is a table and a chair and then you can uh, get an NPC moved in which is quite easy and uh, that's what we're focused on right now we got to get a lot of NPCs but yeah guys welcome back I'm glad you're tuning in today to watch this we're gonna do quite a bit in this part because well we got a quite a bit to work on let me make sure that housing is suitable because I need to make sure all is well. Whoop, that is the wrong interface to bring out. What the heck? Okay, there we are. Um, check the housing here. The housing is suitable, so very soon an NPC will be moving in there, and hopefully it is the bombsman or someone else. I don't really know. We'll probably get him, then we're going to try to get the arms dealer, which is going to sell us guns, and what is going to be the greatest thing we ever obtain, which is the mini shark. Uh, the mini shark is going to be glorious for killing any type of mob that comes our way. Also, I want to get a tackling the Aya Cthulhu soon if we get the... the uh, the spawn, the, the thing that you use to spawn him. I don't know what we need to craft one of those, but we could just do that. That way we don't have to go in the exploring and find one. Let's just give a quick look at it. Uh, where, where would that be? I think it's not going to pop up till I actually find it on oh, my inventory, whatever. Well, time to go back to caves. Let's look on our map to see where's the best cave. We could go back down in there. It's probably going to be the best because we're going to have to pick up some jewels. Now, what the tall is the game? I'm, ev I'm everywhere right now. Okay, so yeah, let's go back to that one cave uh, because we got to go pick up some more... What the heck? I meant to hotkey some of my stuff. Okay, I, hot, I have that hotkeyed. Hotkey the rope. And uh, might as well hotkey my bow right now. No, that's going to be my pickaxe right there. And my torches. So, yeah, everybody's always leaving in the comment section below. Just bring a lot of torches with you, l g so you don't have to worry about making them ever so often. And I'm like, yes, I know. It's something that I don't often do. And it's a quite a... You know, it's quite the problem. But yeah, let's go back down in here, get some jewels so I can make a hook of, of some sort, I believe. Because a lot of people have been ensuring me part by part, look, you need to try to get everything you see as for it's really going to help you. Might as well just get it now instead of waiting. And I always have that problem. I'm always like, I'll do it later, you know. It's always something, I'll mine it later, and then what do you know, I never end up. Oh, look at all the raincoat zombies. What a bright, uh, elegant thing to see today because maybe we can get a raincoat drop and I will be insanely happy from this. You guys have no clue. So, up, uh, yep, I'm being to a go. Oh, <gasps> No, I got it. I got my raincoat. Would you look at it? I got it. Yes, guys. I've been wanting this thing since like we started having rainy weather. I got my raincoat. Victory is mine. I got my raincoat. Oh, I don't know what's the percentage of a drop from that. Uh, raincoat zombies have like a slim chance of dropping a raincoat, and I got one. The epic vanity item is now mine and uh, I'm gonna, always gonna wear this thing I mean it's a freaking raincoat now all I need is to kill an umbrella slime and get an umbrella then I'll have like my umbrella with a raincoat and I'll just be the swaggiest dude in all of Terraria no but I'm, I'm very happy about obtaining that guys because I've been wanting that as you guys know for quite some time throughout the series now and well we finally obtained it so there seems to be some ore right oh, oh I just kind of sunk down to the bottom of this I need out of here oh <gasps> no I keep on going okay we got to get out uh oh can I put uh, rope underwater? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Whew, that could have been dangerous. I thought I was forever gone. Seems to be some sapphire right here or something. Let's build some blocks that we can kind of get up there. All right, now let's start mining this. Now we're going to get... This looks like it's sapphire. Yeah, very nice. Okay, sapphire is good. I'll take it. I mean, I think we've seen quite a bit of it. It's very rare to find sapphire. But uh, And then there's this... This is tin, I believe. What, what happened to my torch? Let me place another one down here. Oh, oh. Can I post a torch All right, this looks like more tin. So, yeah, this is ore expedition. We're getting ore because, well, I realize how valuable and important it was. And it takes a lot of ingots just to make armor or anything of use. Uh, it's so absurd. But Terraria doesn't play around with the difficulty. It's like, hey, you're going to probably need about 5,000 pieces of something to make just one piece of this. And I'm like... What? Are you are you kidding with me? But uh, these these slimes are nothing. Come on. Come on, slimes. I'm about to hop down there. Would you look at this? I ain't nothing. You ain't scaring me. All right, now we return to gather this. Now, I think I only need, like, 10 pieces of uh, a set um, gem, and then I can make a hook or something. I don't know. But we need a magic mirror as soon as possible. Uh, like, when I say soon as possible, I mean we need one ASAP because those things are so valuable to have it's magic mirror cloud in the bottle is okay i suppose but a magic mirror is something we definitely need so what i have how many of this do i did i get um, looking around i got like 17 of it i don't know if that's gonna be enough to make a hook or what but let's go ahead and get out of here um try to place some torches down as such 
Um, let's see here. I gotta freaking dig my way out. Oh, boy. I got out of here once, and it wasn't too difficult, but yeah. Um, hopefully, the, the, the bondsman has not arrived yet, did he? I wasn't paying attention, but I'm pretty sure he didn't yet. So maybe we'll have to wait till the new day starts for him to arrive. But I'm really looking forward to that, because that means we're gonna be able to buy plenty of bombs. And bombs are gonna be useful for the Crimson if we have to destroy some of the Crimson to get to a, a Crimson Heart, which is gonna grant us with our first gun, hopefully. Uh, see, the thing is interesting with the Crimson is I've not yet got to obtain any gun or anything from the Crimson, so I'm kind of looking forward to that and some of the loot I'm going to obtain from that and killing the Brain of Cthulhu. Uh, it's only right we kill the Brain of Cthulhu after we take out the Eye of Cthulhu, which I'm slowly anticipating. Like, I would have already summoned him and tried taking him on, but uh, we need to make sure we're 100% prepared for that. Yeah, I don't think there should be any way that I fell against the Eye of Cthulhu. I mean, he's difficult, yeah, but it can't. Be, he shouldn't be that difficult. You know what I'm saying? I, forget, I always forget I have an entrance to my house right here. It's quite beneficial to just hop in there real quick, but... Um, Open the door, open the door. Let's see what we can craft here. And um, go to our crafting. Ooh, some blue torches and some yellow torches. That's quite nice. Now, let's go. Yes, I can make a topaz hook, which is awesome. I can also do that with a sunfire and ruby, but let's go ahead and make that. That's what I wanted, and now I have it. So, um, I don't know how those things work again. Oh, there we are. Brilliant indeed it is. Now, see, this was in the 1.2 update, I suppose, as well. Like, they added more hooks. Usually, like, back in the day in Terraria, it was very, very difficult to obtain any sign of, um... Hey, what, what's my money? Okay. It was very difficult to obtain a hook. Any type of hook. You, you uh, An ivy hook, any of that, it was very difficult. You would have to go through... A lot of stuff to obtain one. Now we have the topaz hook, which is going to do just fine. See, I could have made that early on, but I didn't realize it. And you guys, always awesome with the little tips in the comments. I can't thank you guys enough for leaving just comments in general, support. And the little tips do help me quite a bit, actually, guys, because that was something that you guys left. Like, hey, OMG, you make a hook. Just go mine some of them gems. You'll be absolutely brilliant. I'm like... Awesome. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. So, yeah, now we have a hook, which is going to help us reach those areas without the rope. And uh, it's just going to be overall excellent when exploring caves as well. It's going to help us maneuver the caves a lot better, and I'm happy about that. Now, you know, this armor I have just doesn't seem to be doing as good as I thought it was going to, which... <gasps> umbrella slime. Umbrella slime. If I get an umbrella in this part... Oh, man, I thought I did. Freaking noobs, dude. I like it. Uh, see, the thing about the umbrella slime is so disappointing because it uh, always drops an umbrella when you kill it, but that's not the actual umbrella you can get by it. Oh, never mind, never mind. There's still hope. There's still hope. Get over here. Oh, he's swimming. He's swimming. Look at that. Okay. Come on. Is that is that an actual umbrella? No. Dang it. I want one of those things. Oh, there's another one. There's a, two of them. We have a high chance of getting an umbrella from this. Okay, let's, let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, if I get one of these, I'm going to be happy. Come on. Umbrella? Umbrella drop? Dang it. Ah, we got, we see, so, how rare is that? If you guys know how rare it is to get an umbrella from an umbrella slime, let me know in the comment section below, because I am quite excited to obtain one of those, um, just so I can complete my vanity. Oh, Dojin the Demolitionist has arrived. Awesome, nice to have him aboard, and I'm glad he finally moved in. Now that's another NPC we have, so a lot of stuff's going down in this part. We made our hook, we got a two-pass hook, and, um, we got a new NPC, so I'm liking this so far. A good part so far is going quite spiffy if I do say so myself. Now, I'm not even concerned with the Crimson at this moment because, that, well, that is really a death sentence if I walk in there. Uh, perhaps I'll get an umbrella eventually. Uh, you can also find those in chests and stuff. So, I mean, so you can also find, th like, beach balls, which are kind of pointless, but they're kind of fun to just kind of put around and kick around, you know. Beach balls, man, they're fun. You can create all kinds of mini games via in Terraria with those things. So, it's really cool to have those. And it's just a nice item they added. They've added so much to the console, and I love every piece and second. It's just every item extra that they added is so amazing and like i said i'm just enjoying playing terraria so much guys i can't stress that to you all enough it's just absolutely a blast and um uh, it's just it's gonna get better because we got so much to do and it's gonna be so epic in the future of the series because we're gonna be slaying bosses after bosses like i cannot wait to kill the brain of cthulhu there's even like a what's the boss of like the giant hornet like b there's like some giant b boss that you go against i don't know so i'm gonna be killing that thing as well i mean there's so much to do i just go what the heck are you you look ugly sir you look very ugly oh you're strong aren't you all right let's take you out please you ain't doing nothing you're hurting yourself and no one else okay we're going to go through here and try to find that dungeon. If Yeah, if you guys are like, why is he heading this way? I kind of forgot to mention that I am going for the dungeon. Uh, because I, I did mention in some of the earlier parts, I am looking for the grand thing known as a water boat. Water boat is going to help us defeat, well, anything that crosses our path 
quite easily. Waterboat uh, is just amazing. I, I don't really consider myself much of a mage when playing uh, Terraria, but hey, when it comes to Waterboat and stuff, you can just call me a battle mage because that thing is so useful. And one thing, one spell I never get to obtain, I don't know if they added new spells or whatever other than water boats and all oh, these things. Get out of here, bro. But water boat and demon scythes, I do believe it's called, that you get from the demons because they shoot these scythe things at you. And you can um, get the spell for that called demon scythe. And uh, it is one amazing spell. It's just dominating. Um, it is is really good. So... Yeah, hopefully I can get one to get that as well. That would just be awesome. So, as we continue through here, we know the jungle's to the left. There was a lot of things to the left we saw, but for the most part, I don't see much happening over here. This might not be where the dungeon is, though. It could be on the left side of the map, which this may just be an ocean. Well, let's see how far we made it over here. Yeah, we're almost there. I guess we'll find out soon once we see the old man. What the heck is going on with the terrain over here? This is, looks dangerous. Glad I have that lucky horseshoe, though, in case I do fall. Not to worry about death. Alright, looks like we're coming close to something over here. It doesn't look like the dungeon's here. I'm not going to be too uh, quick to say anything about it, though. Alright, it's, it's just about exploring the world. we got to get the rest of it explored. It is the dungeon! Would you look at that? Absolutely brilliant. Alright, let's go ahead and explore with some water flowing through it. So we're going to be picking up a lot of stuff here. And I always like to make the demolitionist, cr like the, no, the guns dealer. We're going to make his place look epic. Okay, so let me go ahead and... Start taking down books. Now, I will take some of these books because what do I have? I don't need a day bloom, don't need it. Uh, cloud, I actually should have stored that a long time ago. Um, let's see, sand blocks, eh, hard to tell. Redberry, I can probably get more of those. I can start farming those, actually, really. Um, grenades, useful. Mud blocks, not useful. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take all the books in here uh, just so I can perhaps, you know, build something, I guess. Um, that seems to be a potion sitting there. There's no banners in here, though. I noticed that. All right, lesser healing. Come on, if we get, like, water boat instantly, I'm going to be happy. A blue dungeon. Blue dungeon. Oh, this is a blue dungeon. So there's, like, different versions of dungeons, eh? I don't know that, but it's called, like, a blue dungeon. So clay block, we get rid of that so I can pick up this. I'm just kind of looting everything here. Okay, whoa, what is this? It's a vase? What is that? I don't know what that is, but I'm picking it up. It's a blue dungeon vase. That's going to look good in our house. Heck yeah. Get that candle too. Come on. Getting all this that I can obtain. And um, I don't have to really. I should have cleared all this. But uh, yeah, this is going to look good in our house. Oh, there is a, a banner here. Two of them. Excellent. We're going to take these. Okay. That, that'll go. I'm marking. What, what, what's this? Whoa, I got I to gotta be careful. I don't want to get too deep in here. Not yet at least. I know I'm going to die, by the way, guys. I'm expecting death because um, I'm going. I'm looking for water boats. So. Can I get that? I don't have no room. Okay, acorns. I can pick those up. A necromantic sign? What the heck? That's just a... Uh... Dang it, there's so much... Ah, my inventory is really bugging me. Why did I not store this? I don't need those. I don't need those. Alright, I gotta clear some stuff out. Um, Put some torches. Alright. No, uh, what the heck? How did I... What the heck is going on? Noob O1G is striking. Um, okay. Um, oh boy. Come on, water boat. Give me water boat. I'll love you forever, game. Alright, so it's just another one of those. A ah, carriage lantern. That could be interesting. Do I have any room? Yes. Water boat. Come on. Don't make me go all the way in the dungeon to get it. I'm really risking my life here for this. No! Dang it! Ah! What if water boat would have been right there? What if... Water boat would have been right there, guys. Uh, all right. Well, it looked like for the most part we got in the dungeon. We destroyed a lot of books, and it doesn't look like we're going to get lucky by getting water boat. Disappointing. Um, I, it, sometimes the dungeons, they're very sporadic. Sometimes you can go in the dungeon and get down very far without um, the head of Skeletron killing you. Uh, which, the, well, this guardian, as I believe, the dungeon guardian, but uh, I think it's head of Skeletron, d dungeon guardian, whatever, but uh, you can sometimes go very far down there without him even attacking you, which is sometimes how I get lucky and I get water boat early on in the game. Which, when I get water boat very early on in the game, I'm overpowered and, well, I just feel epic, but that's what I was hoping for, and it would have been nice for the let's play, but apparently we're not going to get that fortunate. We'll have to find other spells and other ways to obtain victory before we kill 
once we kill Skeletron, we can get in there and get Water Boat, and it'll be good. But, uh, yeah, with that being said, though, have a wonderful day. I do believe I'm winning this part here, so, uh, yeah. I'm trying to make these parts a little bit longer, because I know a lot of people are like, oh, gee, so get freaking 10 minutes, what is that, bro? But, uh, so, yeah, we're gonna work on that a little bit, and, uh, since this part is actually only, like, what, 15, 16, I'm not, I don't know, I don't keep up with the time, 21. But, uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll look at the demolition, it's so cool. But, yeah, have a wonderful day, and stay awesome. Everybody watches the vids, everybody loves the Minecraft clips When it comes to the best channel, everybody knows what it is <laughs> This channel is the hottest, don't agree then file a disclaimer Or just join the bandwagon now and subscribe to Only One Gamer Cause Only One Gamer Only One Gamer Only One Gamer Only One Gamer Yeah, it's only one game, uh, yeah.